Hey there, I've got a question for you. Have you ever wondered why the bread you bake turns out so wonderfully fluffy and mouth-wateringly tasty? Well, get ready to uncover the secret behind the chemistry of bread making. I'm thrilled to have you join me today as we dive into the delicious world of chemistry and bread baking. Let's dive in. The process of bread baking involves four main ingredients namely, flour, water, yeast and salt. These ingredients are mixed to create a dough, which is then kneaded and left to ferment before being baked to create our delicious tasting crunchy bread. The flour contains a structural protein known as gluten made of glutenin and gliadin. When water is added in the mixing process, these proteins interact forming a network held together by hydrogen and disulfide bonds in the dough. Kneading the dough uncoils the proteins leading to more interaction and hence strengthening the gluten network. The salt also strengthens the gluten network, making the dough more elastic. The flour also contains starch, which is a long chain of glucose molecules. The enzyme amylase breaks down the starch to maltose which is then converted to glucose with the help of the enzyme maltase. Yeast, which is a crucial player in this process uses these glucose molecules in the fermentation. It converts the glucose to carbon dioxide and ethanol. These end products enlarge the dough giving it a preformed shape. Sodium bicarbonate commonly known as baking soda also produces extra carbon dioxide helping the dough to rise. This rise is usually seen as the wide spaces we see in the bread. The final step is the baking of the bread. At this stage, a chemical reaction known as the Maillard reaction occurs. Maillard reaction is the chemical reaction that occurs between amino acids and the glucose produced by the yeast in the presence of heat, typically 110 to 170 degrees Celsius. In this reaction, the glucose functional group reacts with the amino group of the proteins producing N-substituted glucosamine. This undergoes rearrangements to produce ketoisamines. This ketosamines produces various compounds such as, furanones which is responsible for the taste of the bread, melanoidins which absorbs light giving at different wavelengths giving the brown color of the bread. The fragrance of the bread is produced by other end products known as maltol and isomatol. When our bread is taken out of the oven and allowed to cool it undergoes another process known as starch retrogradation. This reorganizes the starch molecules making the bread more form and helping it maintain its structure. It is also responsible for the hardness of bread when it left over a period of time. And there you have it folks the incredible chemistry behind bread baking. From the gluten network to yeast fermentation, the Maillard reaction to baking, every step involves fascinating chemical reactions that transform simple ingredients into a tasty treat. So the next time you enjoy a slice of bread, remember that it's not just a tasty snack but a masterpiece of science. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more biochemistry adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and experimenting the world of biochemistry.